me, Vlog Fam. It's Beth, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome as well. Sorry that today's video is going up so late, but I really wanted to wait because we got new mystery pins in the parks today. Like I said, it had been kind of forever since we were getting mystery pins, but June has blessed us with so many different options. I was super excited about these. These are the limited release guitar pins, and I feel like a lot of you guys really like them as well. I did so many pickups for these, so I really hope you guys are all able to complete your collections. I have four boxes here today. Oh, I am super excited to see these. I saw these back in February during the pin trading night preview event. I will say off the bat, I know that these pins are kind of small in size, but they have so much detail on them, so I think they are really cool and unique. So let me go ahead and show you the designs. So first off, this is what the box looks like. Definitely a bit edgy, rocker-ish. I think this is really cool. I was very surprised to see what it looked like. You can see on the side here, this is a 10 pin set. So there are two pins inside. And here are all of the design choices. So we have Dodger up here, which I love. We rarely see Dodger in pins, so I was excited that they included him. Definitely hoping for one of him. We have Baloo, Mrs. Potts, Ariel, Simba, Genie. Both of our kind of new releases are represented here. Nothing Toy Story, though. We've got Stitch, Snow White, Pocahontas, and then Aurora. So all really fun designs. I think Stitch is super cool. I would love to get a Stitch. I would love to get a Dodger. And I would also kind of want an Ariel just because you know that I like Ariel. So like I said, we do have four boxes to open this time. So I'm really excited to see what we get. So let's get started. Okay. Uh, I am so nervous. I always get so nervous opening mystery pins. Uh, these do come in your standard little black baggies. There's no um, like piece of paper or anything, but these are so small. I cannot feel anything except for basically the pin back. So let's let's just rip this one and see. Okay. <gasps> The first thing I saw was red hair at the bottom of the guitar, which means we have Ariel. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, these are super detailed and really nice for being like the pin size that they are. Let me show you this just because it is really cool looking. So there we've got Ariel and Flounder down at the bottom. The neck of the guitar is kind of lined with like this seaweed and then at the top we have the shell that contains her voice. So again, I think these are just super detailed and nice. They are pretty tiny, like they could definitely be like a lapel pin or something like that or like go on a hat, but oh my goodness. All of the detail that went into these and the details actually look really nice, like their faces don't look too smushed or scary because I know that's often the case when you get tiny pins, like these look really good. I'm actually really impressed. Oh my gosh, and there is also the dingle hopper on here. I totally missed that until looking at this the second time. It's kind of hard when I'm like looking through my viewfinder to look at the pins, but oh my gosh, there is also a dingle hopper strumming the guitar. I love that. It's right here. Ah, oh, that is so fun. Okay, definitely off to a good start. Let's see what our second pin is. Okay really hoping for Stitch. Stitch is always so hard to find in mystery sets. What is this? Oh, that is really pretty as well. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love that Aurora is in her pink dress form. My personal favorite. The neck of the guitar is covered in these really pretty roses leading up to one of her forest friends the little blue bird. I think this is really sweet looking. Yeah, these just look really well done. I really love all of the little details in this. They're so intricate. These are actually a lot nicer than I thought they would be. 
I'm impressed. Time for box number two. So a lot of these were just kind of wrapped up in boxes of 10 when I grabbed them. So hopefully, hopefully there aren't like too many doubles in here. Um, hopefully they are decently mixed up. I don't know. I'm so scared. I saw people opening them in Disneyland and they seem to get a lot of the same. Hopefully that's not the case. <gasps> okay. Not a double. So far, so good. Ooh, this one is interesting. Okay, so we have Pocahontas and... I can't tell what she's holding, <laughs> but she's got Miko and she's got Flit and then the neck of the guitar has all of these different colored leaves. I love the color of this with the turquoise. I think this looks really good. Again, I love all of these little details. All right, come on, stitch, stitch, stitch. <gasps> Not stitch, but I think this one is going to be really popular with people. I don't personally collect The Lion King. It is one of my favorite movies from childhood, but we've got Simba. So this one's pretty fun because we've got the sunset behind Simba. It leads up to Zazu, and then at the very top, we have the little Simba symbol that Rafiki draws on the tree. I love that they included that. Definitely timely with all of the hype starting for the new live action movie. Okay. Two boxes down, two to go. This is where things might start to go downhill. Hopefully not, oh my gosh. I feel like I should start opening these pins at the park, that way I can at least like trade if I get doubles right away, but you know, it's pretty hot out and I wanted to just come home and film for you guys instead of filming at the park because it's so loud, but uh, hopefully it's not too terrible. What is this? It doesn't feel like something I ha- oh, no, it's- it's another Simba, so no need to show you this again. Let's see if this means that this is a Pocahontas in this one. Hopefully it's just a double pin and not a double box. Ooh, okay, it's not a double box because Pocahontas' guitar was flat. Oh, this one is really cute. Again, really detailed. It is Mrs. Potts and Lumiere, and then the neck of the guitar turns into the Enchanted Rose. Okay, good. Not a double box. I love the red in this. It's super vibrant and fun, and of course, like, Lumiere is one of my personal favorite sidekicks, so I love that he got added onto there as well. And I feel like we rarely ever see pins that have Mrs. Potts, so this is really cool. One box left. Still no stitch or dodger. Fingers crossed, I would really love just like one of those. I love Oliver and Company. I feel like it's such an underrated movie that people, especially like kids nowadays, just don't really watch that movie. It's definitely one that I grew up with and I loved and I like love the music and I definitely appreciate the music even more so now as an adult, like love Billy Joel. And I feel like I never realized how sad that movie was. Like, we recently repurchased it on Blu-ray and watching it, like, those first 10 minutes are really hard to get through. Like, it is so sad. But yeah, I think it is definitely such an adorable movie that is underrated. More people need to watch it. We need more Oliver love. Okay. I don't know. Oh. Okay, I see the shape. Pretty sure this is Aurora. And it is. Okay, so we do have another Aurora. Again, hopefully this isn't a double box, just like a single double pin. I would really like to end on a high note and not with a double. Okay. Oh, let's see. I don't know, by the shape of this in here, it feels like another Aurora. That would be really bad to have two of the same pin in one box. Has that ever happened before? Let me know if that's happened to you, because that would be awful. And oh, it is not. Okay, it is another pin that we don't have. Good. Okay, that makes me happy. It is Genie. 
I love Jeannie. I love Robin Williams. It's honestly what has been making me so hesitant to go and see the new Aladdin movie is like not anything against Will Smith. Like I do enjoy Will Smith as well, but I just, I don't know. I'm still like so unsure about him as Jeannie. So I know so many of you guys in my last video said to go and see it. So we are looking into it. So maybe I'll go and like catch a Tuesday viewing of that next week when it's like cheap and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Cause I do, I do want to see it and I do really like the music, but really glad that we have Jeannie here. He's just so lovable and fun. He looks so happy and of course our neck of the guitar is leading up to his magic lamp, his home. Very fitting. I think these are really clever. All right, that is four boxes already. I'm hopefully going to have another mystery pin unboxing again for you guys very soon. We've got the new Toy Story pins coming out, both like the Hot Topic ones and the ones in the parks. So definitely going to be opening some of those because I need the aliens and the Forkies in that. I feel like we did pretty good today on the guitars, only two doubles. It's not too terrible because you never know when they like bring out a bunch of boxes that are all wrapped up together if it's all like literally the same box. Luckily, they were mixed up a little bit inside, so that is always good. I cannot believe that June is almost over. Oh my gosh, like going down to two videos, I feel like has been so tricky because I still haven't done so many of the videos I wanted to make or need to make in June. I still have my June pin board. I want to do the pride tag. So I think I'm going to be putting up some extra videos this week. So I will probably have one up tomorrow. And then I'm thinking on Sunday as well, just because I really want to make and get that stuff out for you guys. It's just, yeah, it's gone by so fast. Two videos a week, I feel just doesn't cut it. So now that we're kind of getting a little more settled and into routine here, I'm going to I don't know. I think I'm going to for sure always do my Monday and Thursday videos, but if a new mystery pin pops up, I'll probably open that same day. I might go to like Character Warehouse and do like a little walkthrough and show you guys new merch. Happy to pick anything up. Like I said, I picked up a bunch of these pins for people, so if you guys ever need pickups, I do have a Facebook group for that as well, so that's going to be down in the description box. So uh, yeah, I think you guys are gonna just start to get kind of random bonus content kind of throughout the week, and then I'll still always have like my Monday and Thursday. Yeah, let me know your thoughts if that's good for you. I think that's what's basically going to happen moving forward, so definitely excited about that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of these guitar pins down below and if you are looking for any, if you're gonna collect them, give me all of the details. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon, likely tomorrow. All right guys, thanks for watching, bye.